Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. So a lot of people like to ask for uh, what they call share codes for Willy Tunes, And I'm here to tell you that share codes, while it's great, may not give you what you want ultimately out of the tune. Uh, you may not notice that, or you may notice that you're not in fact getting a Willy off with the car like you expect, even though the tune says, Hey, it pops great willies, blah, 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 but somehow it doesn't work. Now, let me explain to you why I'd rather teach you how to make one over uh, just having one downloaded. So the key to most wheelie setups is one, uh, you built the car for drag racing. You're going to use drag tires. You're going to use a, um, rally suspension to get more height. And then you're going to use adjustable transmission to get adjustable gearing that's very important to get the things set up initially for you so rear spring stiff high ride height stiff rear soft front usually helps and then the rest goes right to gearing now what happens with gearing is this what i find is depending on how the car is set up power wise and where uh, on the track you're trying this willy and if you look at the telemetry also the temperature of your tires so this is an actual effect that affects your ability to get the wheelie off the line okay when the tires are already heated some tires work better and others do not so if you tune the car for wheelie with cold tires which is what i generally do for final drive and the car is on the track with hot tires it won't pop a wheelie it, it'll most likely spin the wheel instead of doing a wheelie because it heats up too quick and loses grip now the other piece is of course how your settings are set up affects your ability to uh, launch the car if you're doing manual shifting like i am instead of automatic that's not a big deal but whether you activate launch control or not is a big deal because launch control changes the rpm at which the car launches if it's only launching at 3500 sure the good news is you're not likely to spend your tire as much but you also may not be launching as aggressive as you would hope to get the willy off the ground now it still lifts the front end in this situation but it's not giving me a full willy now let's say I let the tires cool back down that's the first piece we go back and we say okay now we're going to take launch control off manual that allows me now to do a full launch at full rpm right so we're going to go over here okay we're going to let the tires cool a little more um, the cooler the tire the easier it is to get the initial launch i'm not saying you want to run cold tires but uh, generally speaking, really hot tires seems to spin. Really cold tires seems to spin. So you have to kind of figure out what's working and what's not. And try multiple launches sometimes to get everything perfect. It looks like a little bit of warming up actually helped on that one with this car. It launches good with a little bit warm tires. It took two or three launches to get the uh, front end to truly lift off. So... Now, these muscle cars may look like they're the perfect candidate for popping big old wheelies, but the truth is, they're not. Um, not all of them. And that's true of all the cars in this game. Uh, which car does wheelie well really depends a lot on uh, the car having the ability to get a drag set up that grips well and therefore can lift the front end and hold it there. But that also means that it has to have enough uh, power coming off the line to get the front end off and then maintain an RPM uh, that allows it to kind of keep the front end up. That means that it has to accelerate quick. It has to have a smooth RPM acceleration, but it also cannot overcome its grip in first gear. So here we're going to use the Gremlin. Okay, again, cold tire, not so good. Seems to be slippery. So we'll do a few launches, but here we go. Okay. Now it does it well. Now, going back to RPMs. Let's take a look at the RPMs. 
you'll notice that there is a drop in RPMs anytime you let go, even at 4 RPMs, it lets go around 5 and then it holds it really well. That's what gives this uh, little gremlin uh, the ability to get such a nice willy. Now, again, from the tune standpoint, the key here is that I have information here of uh, what it does 0 to 60. The gearing is what makes the difference. So the first gear being right here, linearly accelerating, makes this work so well as a wheelie tune. The suspension tuning is pretty straightforward. You can see stiff rear, um, stiff rebound. I mean, I can increase this to 20, but then I have to retweak the gearing. The same with this. If you change this, you may have to retweak the gearing. Now, the gearing and the transmission being adjustable, that is really the key of getting the car off the ground. Sure, you still have to build the car uh, in a way that, let's go back to home to look at this car's build. You have to build the car with the right uh, upgrades to make sure that it has enough power. Now, generally speaking, that's that means he's just going for like the big engine with the most power. So I'm actually running a 6.5 liter V12 in this to get enough power. I'm also running the turbo kit to get more power, but we're keeping the rear wheel drive. The important part here is this, the tire has to be drag tire compound for that 10 acceleration. You need that for sure uh, to get that aggressive launch off. You're gonna wanna run the biggest width tires in the back that you can as well, more, more width, more grip, hopefully. And light wheel, lightweight wheels, may help in pushing the um, tire out or in. That's more for handling, but I, I just decided to go with the out look because it looks cool. Um, and that's important. And from suspension standpoint, basically the key is adjustable dampers, which usually is the rally. That gives you the most height and that helps. Uh, weight, lower weight always helps. So these are all the factors that affects that. The brakes and all that stuff is more weight reduction. That's not as critical. Engine upgrades, turbo upgrades. Um, if you have enough power to pop a wheelie, you don't need to go for more power. Meaning, you know, sometimes people get too into the idea that I gotta upgrade everything to the full max. Well, that's great, but if the car has that much power and anytime you launch it, it blows the tires out, you're not gonna get the wheelie off the ground anyway. So playing with the power level based on upgrades is important. And then the next most important really is once you set up the suspension, figuring out the transmission. And also I found that different parts of the road, uh, different uh, level of heat of the tire, all this stuff affects whether the car will pull a willy or not and how big a willy it will pull. Therefore, downloading a, um, a simple tune from online may not get you what you want. And that's exactly why I rather teach you how to do the Willy tune rather than simply say, okay, here is a Willy tune, go for it. Because even the ones I have already set up, for example, I have this Ariel Adam set up two, three days ago to pop Willys very well. But even if I had saved that tune and I come out to the track again in game um, and try to pop a willy I may not get it the car may spend the tires it may pop a willy in this case it did okay or it may not and that really goes back to the final gear ratio see so notice how here it didn't want to do it because now the tire temperatures changed the traction areas changed all these little factors affect your ability to pull it off uh, if it doesn't at least give you an ultimate two wheels then I don't really consider that truly a willy setup uh, it should definitely give you that and the more fun ones are the ones that can not only give you the willy but allow you to kind of hold it like this for a little bit so you can run it down the road uh, with your front end lifted in the air uh, since two years ago when i first played with this setup uh, for willies i noticed that some vehicles have been changed a little bit uh, they don't seem to pop willies as well and then other vehicles that uh, before were very difficult to get any kind of a wheelie out of um, now seems to pop a little bit of a wheelie. So it's, it, it's, 
again because things change old shared codes may not work and you know new codes may um, actually work better or in some cases you still can't get anything done with it uh, so the the strategy of how to do it is definitely to me more important than just downloading and doing a uh, willy tune based on someone else's tune because you can't change anything and you can't adapt it to the environment uh, this used to pop great willies okay as you can see currently it's not wanting to do it that means my old tune which worked so well two years ago uh, obviously it's not working well today um, partially, partly because of course I probably didn't have that up this and we could probably lower that a degree or two to see if it'll get a little better and there you go that was a little better okay um, I might have I might have actually been trying the rear uh, really well no I didn't I had it set up for the front okay Okay, so again, there you go, pops a little better. Now, the thing is that the front kind of loses its strength too quick because the first gear is so short. So, back to the tune, and we look at gearing. So, we want the first gear to be a little longer. Okay, I'm not worried about the second and third here because obviously we're, we don't care about that for the purpose of launching the car on the wheelie tune. Uh, unless you're doing a full really drag tune. Now, again, once I did that, I'm having a little harder time getting it off the ground. So we have, we're going to have to observe again the RPM. And there it is. Okay, but again, it, it goes into first a little quick. So what we can do is, if it launches, you can try to get it into second and see if it'll maintain the, the launch. There, you go. there it is. So second gear actually does a nicer job because the way it pulls. Right there. Okay, so this car is still doing a great wheelie. So that's really it. Um, mo majority of wheelie tunes is all about making sure you do not overcome the friction of the tires too much. Allowing it to basically get the best it can out of the tire grip so launching and as long as that tire grip maintains the friction your chance of getting a wheelie is a lot greater now going in this direction notice it doesn't seem to want to do it in second gear so you may have to go back to first gear and there it is right so that's really still everything uh, regarding the wheelie setup, the wheelie tuning is still the same. Um, I don't really see any real changes. Suspension setups uh, with power and then drag tires with good grip. But the real key here is playing with that final drive slash first gear, second gear to get the amount of launch um, power that you want to lift the front without breaking the tires without letting it spin and that will always give you your nice and uh, long uh, front end lift runs so to summarize again very quickly build a car like a drag car and once you build it like a drag car uh, with rally suspension keep the height up suspension rear stiff and then tire minimum PSI highest grip and then go and figure out what works on the transmission and playing with the transmission settings uh, may have to happen almost every time you go back in the game in order to get the willy to work the way you want and sometimes a lot of it goes back to other factors like having the right tire heat level and sometimes it's just better in second gear depending on how you have the car set up so go out and enjoy yourself uh, popping some willies with all different kinds of cars it is still one of the more fun things to do in the game even though it doesn't really accomplish a whole lot when it comes to actual racing purposes it sure is fun to know that you can take an aerial atom or uh, one of these old muscle cars and make it pop its front end in the air 
So I hope that explanation helped clear up a little bit of the issues uh, and the confusions that's been happening with regard to not being able to get uh, the willy to happen with uh, these cars. And hopefully that'll allow you also to go back and tune your own car to do the willy rather than trying to rely on a questionable downloaded uh, save of someone else's tune. Because as I've shown you, that may not work each time you log into the game and you may get frustrated and think that these willy tunes really don't work. All right. Um, again, I'm always open to people asking questions or giving feedback. So feel free to ask me um, specifics if there's a card that you really like. Um, I can tell you up front that many cars in the game simply cannot be tuned to pop a willy. Even though every car can be set up as a rear wheel drive car with drag tires and maybe with some extra work, most, if not all of them, can at least get the front end to look like it lifts off the ground. Uh, but um, truly pulling massive wheelies, not every car can pull that off simply because of the way uh, their grip is and other factors. So playing with it is really the key. You really have to get used to the idea of how to set them up and play with them. So if you like the video, leave a like. Um, if you want to uh, look at my original video to also kind of compare notes on how I discussed you can get a Willy Tune set up, feel free to check out that video as well. If you like my channel and like these kind of videos, um, I don't put up a lot of Forza videos, but I do uh, try to keep in touch with the game. And if there are things I know how to do I can share with you, I certainly would be happy to do so. So if you want to see those videos, subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notified when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.